Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about Valentine's Day gift for him. If you've seen my other video, you'll probably know my answer to this. It is not your traditional like, what gift should you get the guy and all that, because I've been there, done that. So I still remember, it, it wasn't a Valentine's Day gift, but it was a birthday gift, so I went to Paris alone. And even though I was in a relationship, he, he didn't want to pay for a plane ticket, so I went alone. And so I got him a Louis Vuitton wallet for his birthday. And honestly, it was, I want to say it's not like even that expensive, but it's probably very expensive for the relationship. And that set the tone. I, I was just with him for like, not even a month, but I just, I was really into him. So I was like, oh, let me get him this LV wallet because I feel like he's going to use it for a long long time and he's gonna appreciate it yeah he did he did appreciate the fact that I spent so much money on him and that set the tone from that point on he was like oh you have to spend money on me you have to buy this for me I still remember this one time I wanted to go to Osaka and then basically he was like oh why did you only buy tickets for yourself why didn't you buy tickets for me like for him and I was like what like really like first of all you're the guy in the relationship and I I strongly believe that guy should be supporters in the relationship no matter like you know how much money the girl has it doesn't matter it's just like a feeling of protection and honestly after after you guys get married if that's like what you're heading towards after you guys get married there will be joint accounts and everything will be combined so that that should not be an issue if you really believe that girl is you know your girl for a lifetime but okay side note but that totally set the tone just me buying that louis vuitton wallet for him and also a bunch of you know expensive designer stuff for him that totally set the tone and after that point on i just feel like he expects me to use my money and even at times when i am using my money he thinks it's like obvious that i should spend my money like he expects that i should spend my money and so <sighs> yeah this is this video is not gonna be a guide of oh what you should get him or what expensive thing that you should get him if anything get him diy things because um that shows you know the time that you put into a gift and honestly time is very valuable too but never ever go into buying designer items for the guy because i've been there done that and it was disastrous and honestly i will from now on i will only get designer stuff for my husband or for super long-term relationship if i'm with that guy for a super long time and i can totally trust that guy because honestly i just felt so stupid you know like yeah i got expensive things for you but it doesn't mean that you know from now on you should expect me to spend money like i still remember he said something he was like Oh, I want to find a girl who would go to the freaking like Universal Studios or Disneyland or whatever and she will pay for her own tickets but that's you know what a girlfriend should do like that's what he told me and I was like what really like yeah unbelievable so I really believe in the masculine side and fem 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 feminine feminine side and <sighs> It was totally reversed when you're like the the provider, when you're the spender, when you're the spender in the relationship, then you become the male in the relationship. You become like the fighter in the relationship. You become the masculine one. And he is the feminine one. And maybe, maybe you love spending money. Maybe you love being the provider, but me personally, I hate being that. I just feel like I'm not a girl anymore. I just feel very, um, very not myself. I don't feel like I'm protected and it is also evident in the relationship myself, which I will explain in a separate rent video, but yeah, moral of the story. What you get for him, not designer things. You can get him something, but something that you just put time in, not money in because you don't want to end up being the provider in the relationship. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I know this is like totally not feminist and you know, it's totally not like so-called equality and all that, you know, all that jazz, but I never called myself, I never labeled myself to be a certain way i have certain thoughts that i believe are like more you know on the scale of feminism more feminist and i have some thoughts are like more traditional and so you know i never want to put any label on myself because i don't want to like destroy these labels i never think that you know a person should fit into a certain mold because that's not what people are people should be you know flexible fluid people should be constantly changing because that's what people are and so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time bye